Sure, on the surface, more money might sound good, but it is not that easy. This morning, President Trump signaling he won't sign that COVID relief package set to provide aid for millions of Americans. Send me a suitable bill or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package. Sure, on the surface, more money might sound good, but it is not that easy. This bill is more than 5,500 pages long. It took eight months to pull it together. And while the president had all of that time to get involved in the negotiations, he never did. What we're seeing right now, (laughs) some call it a tantrum. Are we sure he doesn't drink? I mean, I mean, I understand he did. That would be a brother. Relief. Yeah, yeah, his no. brother drank, and so he did. We've heard that, but man, he's got to be on something, like, because it's just full blown crazy, Mika. All that negotiating was going on. He wanted no part of it. He either watched passively, as Pelosi said, and all reporting points in the same direction. The Republicans wouldn't even say what the president wanted. They didn't even want him to have any role in this. Everything points to this being something where he gets to look good as others will truly suffer. We also uh, do not know whether he's actually trying to be destructive, cause a government shutdown, cause the American people to lose this relief. Um, the president is erratic. He's unpredictable. We know that he's uh, he can't handle uh, in a uh, sensible and mature way the fact that he was defeated by Joe Biden. Here we are with this COVID relief bill with the president just waking up and saying, hey, by the way, while I was kind of off doing my, my own thing, some critics would say kind of being a mad president, acting like a mad king, I'm I need to actually be focused on the legislation coming in front of my desk. So it, it's no telling what actually happens now. I think that this is arguably, politically speaking, the most effective thing that he has done since losing the election. When they hear things like counting amberjack fish, which is what he said in that video at a time when Americans are getting $600, the $600 is going to sound like chump change. And it is it is him frankly, laying back on those arguments that first put him in office, mm-hmm. that he's the champion of the working person and he wants two grand in everybody's pocket. I, agree. I think it's very effective for him. I agree for him. What he doesn't seem to comprehend is that he's threatening all of the relief by doing this. As you point out, Congress left right. town. This deal was done. And now the question is, will the president cave or will Congress somehow come up with a last minute fix? Important to know as well, this Congress goes poof January 3rd. A new Congress is seated and they'd have to begin again. 